Hello my love bugs, it's Forever Sims. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to a brand new speed build. I know I don't do these too often, but I figured I'd do a bit of a holiday themed speed build with a few of the new items that we have, or some of them we've had for a while, but the holiday items that uh, we get for free because, I don't know, I just thought it would be kind of nice to uh, show them off a little bit and whatnot. So yes, here we are, and I know I usually just fill my builds with a whole bunch of super catchy, fun tunes, but I decided to do something a little bit differently, a little bit differently, a little bit different in this video, um, and actually vocally speak to you with my words. So um, yeah, right now I am just sort of um, piecing out the layout. I knew I wanted to do something with like an, an open... Um, bit, but I wasn't too sure how I wanted to do it, and now that I think about it, I realized that the wall that I used, I probably should have used one that was a little bit, um, like, longer. Like, someone's gonna fall down there and die. I'm sorry. It's just, it's just what's gonna happen. Like, Amber, come on. Come on. You could have made it a little bit safer, but whatever. That's how it turned out, and that's just, that's just what it is, okay? Um, I realized, I don't know, I feel like the, the shape of the house is a little bit awkward, but um, I worked with it. I think um, I think it, it turned out pretty well. I don't know. Um, I wanted to make the kitchen a little bit old timey because basically my vision for this house was it being like a grandparents' house. You know, like I don't know if this is a thing, but like my family every year for Christmas we go to my grandma and grandpa's house for Christmas dinner, and the whole family comes, and it's like super great. Um, and yeah, I don't know if that's like just a my family thing, but that's what my family does. And so I, I kind of wanted this to be like grandma and grandpa's cabin that, you know, the whole family goes to for Christmas and just sort of eat lots of food. So I, I was trying to do it a little bit more old fashioned. I, I definitely wanted to get, um, you'll see in the bedrooms that, um, I was going for more of a, like a log cabin-y type feel with it. Uh, you can also kind of tell by like... I don't know the windows that I picked, but maybe, I don't know. Um, but yeah, doing the layout on the bottom floor was a little bit weird for me because, like, as you just saw there, I, I didn't want to put a room somewhere where there wasn't, like, stuff above it. I don't know. It was really weird. <laughs> it's just weird, okay? Because um, I've never really done a build like this before, and so it was, you know, a lot of experimenting and, and not really being sure how things were gonna turn out, but I, at the end of the day, I think it turned out well, but I don't know, I'm trying to get a lot better with my building and decorating, and I think I've been improving, but that's one of the reasons I want to start doing speed builds more. I was gonna try and do a speed build, like one speed build a week, but I it's hard for me to like find like an hour, hour and a half to just sit down and build a house, so it's been pretty difficult, but you know what, we're, we're getting there. Um, slowly but surely. Uh, for the, the Christmas items, I ended up using like the white and blue theme as opposed to the um, red and green just because, I don't know, I, I thought it was a bit more unique. Like I feel like everyone always does the red and green, so I, I wanted to do something a little bit different and um, go for the, uh, the white and blue instead. And I, I think that these like colors were more like Hanukkah colors. I don't really know anything about Hanukkah, but um, that's like sort of the impression I was getting by like a lot of the um, the items that came in the blue and white were like Hanukkah items. So whatever, it's it's kind of like a Hanukkah. It's, it's a Jewish family, so I'm okay. It's just that's just what it is. I'm sorry if that was offensive. Sometimes I say things and I forget that people get offended by things. And I just say them and then afterwards I'm like, that probably offended someone, but you know, it's too late now. I already said it. There's no going back. Um, please tell me you can relate and I'm not just some insensitive human being. Um, I have no idea what I'm going to talk about for like, it's not even, it's like 15 minutes, but still I'm like, I don't know what to say. I don't. I guess I'll just talk about the build. So, <laughs> yeah, um, as you can kind of see, I was going with a lot of neutral tones because all of my um, all of my apartment renovations are so bright and colorful, and I was like, I need to tone it down a bit, you know, take it back a notch. 
just be brown for a second just make everything brown so that's kind of what I was doing um, with this build and you will notice that I hop between um, move objects being on and off all the time because generally I like to build I don't like move objects on when I'm building so if something needs to be placed more with move objects I turn it on move it and then turn it back off um, because that's just me also I'm sorry if like the grid because I know a lot of people turn the grid off when they build um, I love the grid I like need it in my life for the build to work for me like I don't know is that I apparently that's just me but um, so if it bothers you I'm really sorry but I need it okay I just I need it yeah um, <laughs> Um, so right now I'm actually just doing like the little study area. It, there's really nothing holiday y about it. Um, it's just a office. I don't know, like grandpa's office where he does his work. I don't, I, don't, I don't know. My grandpa doesn't have an office. My grandparents don't even live in a real house. So, huh. they live in like um, a mobile home. It's not like a motor home. Like, it's not like a car. It's a house, um, but it's obviously one story and it has wheels so you can pull it behind a vehicle obviously a very big heavy duty vehicle but yeah if you ever see like those big trucks pulling a house that's the kind of house my grandparents live in and it's just like plopped down on their farm because my grandparents live on a farm they're farmers um they're where my love of cows has stemmed from oh what's that you didn't know that i love cows well Aren't you just learned something special about me today? Yeah, ever since I was little, I've just, for whatever reason, just loved cattle. You know, that's my, that's my thing. I just love cows. It's my life. Um, I actually have two of, of the cows at my grandparents' farm. They're technically mine. Their names are Popcorn and Peanut. They're pretty amazing. Um, so here I am doing the grandparents' bedroom. Um, I was using one of the, like, the pre-made rooms for sort of inspiration. I do that quite a bit. Um, I find it very, very helpful, actually. So if you're ever like trying to make a room and you just don't know what to do, you're just stumped, um, I highly recommend just going in and checking out one of the uh, pre-made rooms and just grabbing some stuff from there and plopping it in. I Obviously, you can see I, like, I rearranged it a bit. I used some different colors and whatnot, but... Um, the basic idea of it is pretty much the same as that pre-made room, which, I mean, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Um, but yeah, here I am making the upstairs identical to the downstairs, basically, um, as far as flooring and uh, ceilings go. And here I am fiddling with uh, move objects again because the tree disappeared. Yeah, that's just my life. So, um, I, I, you know, I goofed around with this for like five minutes. It's fine. It's it took me a hot minute, but you know, we get there eventually. Eventually we figure it out. Okay, and I wanted to put that party popper there, but then it just looked too awkward. And I also spent so long trying to find a place to put that wreath. Like I wanted it so badly, but I just couldn't, just couldn't find a place where I liked it. Um, and I'm making the guest bedroom now. Uh, just sort of upstairs, there's um, two different bedrooms actually that I ended up making a guest bedroom and then like a kids bedroom for you know whenever the grandkids come over and whatnot um and i'm just sort of fiddling around with the lights i like to use the same light fixture throughout the entire house and i used to just use those like little circle ones um because they give off the best light but i don't know i, I like having like nice light fixtures that actually match the house and all of that um so like I've started doing that when I'm decorating is not just using those little circle lights but actually like trying um and now I'm making the upstairs bathroom and it took me a hot minute you will see um I you know I wanted to use the same stuff that we had downstairs but like it was taking a really long time to find a way that I felt like it fit all together nicely I'm really not great like like a little bathroom girl like don't even like I can row together a little bathroom like there ain't no tomorrow okay that is my ish but when you give me like a bigger bathroom like I just get lost like I don't even know what to do with myself because it's just too much it's too much space but um I figured something out and then I went on to um try and find some nice picture to put on the wall which also took me a hot minute because I'm just difficult um and I couldn't really like 
think like find anything else to put against that wall so it just sort of left it blank and now we move on to the little kids uh, bedroom I think it's pretty unisex um, it's like blue so like I don't know blue is a pretty unisex color really um, so yeah I, I just thought this was like a really cute home for like a little old couple to live in and have the grandkids over and, and all that fun stuff I don't know I thought it was cute okay um, I put a drawing table, a toy chest, there's not really, the desk is just sort of there to be there. Um, it doesn't really have much of a purpose, but that's okay. Um, I put up some posters on the wall as well. I've been doing that as well a lot recently, um, is, is using posters and whatnot. Um, just to sort of add some, like, realism, kind of. To the home I don't know I don't like to put in too much clutter but um, I think that a little bit is is always nice um, at the end of the day you know what I'm saying um, by the entrance I was trying to like I didn't know what I wanted to do by the entrance I tried out a cute a few different things I you know played around with some different boxes and whatnot um, we ended up just throwing a coat rack there and calling her a day though um, and now we're moving on to the outside of the house, which was also a little bit, um, of a struggle for your friend here. Um, and there was a random curtain on the outside. Okay. Um, that's great. Um, but yeah, the outside was weird for me because I wanted it to look like a cabin. And I was like, I don't know, man, I didn't want it to like all be one color. Like you'll see the first one that I go to put there, not this one, this one, it like, makes it all one color and I just didn't like it so I ended up using the lighter beige one around the outside and then I left like the um the the stairs and, and the deck the darker color I just I don't know I, I felt like the contrast looked nice it probably looks awful and I'm sorry if I, you're offended by my horrendous color choices um you when you download the house for yourself you can change that all you'd like um, and now I'm doing the roofing. I just want to give a quick disclaimer. I'm really awful at roofing. Like, I'm really bad, okay? So, I know that the roof is really not great, but, um, I personally thought it was pretty good for me and my skill level because I'm just horrendous when it comes to roofing. So, I didn't think I did too bad of a job. Um, I just sort of moved the whole house back there because I felt like it was just too much. And now I'm just doing some landscaping, adding some dirt around gonna be adding some plants and all that just because I like the way it looks um, I put like a little stone path going out from the stairwell and sort of surrounded with plants and trees and all that fun stuff because you know I just feel like grandparents should have a butt ton of flowers outside their house apparently it's just the way that things should be in my brain um, but uh, anyways, the screenshots are coming up pretty quick here, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, leave you guys with that. I hope you all have an amazing day, and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye, guys.